Ode to Joy We shall have everything we want and there'll be no more dying on the pretty plains or in the supper clubs for our symbol will acknowledge vulgar materialistic laughter over an insatiable sexual appetite and the streets will be filled with racing forms and the photographs of murderers and narcissists and movie stars will swell from the walls and books alive in steaming rooms to press against our burning flesh not once but interminably as water flows downhill in the full-lipped basin and the adder dives for the ultimate ostrich egg and the fe feather cushion preens beneath a reclining monolith that's sweating with post-exertion visibility and sweetness near the grave of love. No more dying. We shall see the grave of love as a lovely sight and temporary near the elm that spells the lovers' names and roots. And there'll be no more music but the ears and lips, and no more wit but tongues and ears, and no more drums but ears to thighs, as evening signals nudities unknown to ancestors' imaginations. And the imagination itself will stagger like a tired paramour of ivory under the sculptural necessities of lust that never falters, like a six-mile runner from Sweden or Liberia covered with gold, as lava flows up and over the far-down somnolent city's abdication, and the hermit, always wanting to be lone, is lone at last, and the weight of external heat crushes the heat-hating Puritan, whose self-defeating vice becomes a proper sepulchre at last that love may live. Buildings will go up into the dizzy air as love itself goes in, and up the reeling life that it has chosen once and for all, while in the sky a feeling of intemperate fondness will excite the birds to swoop and veer like flies crawling across absorbed limbs, that weep a pearly perspiration on the sheets of brief attention, and the hairs dry out that summon anxious declaration of the organs, as they rise like buildings to the needs of temporary neighbors, pouring hunger through the heart to feed desire in intravenous ways, like the ways of gods with humans in the innocent combination of light and flesh, or as the legends ride their heroes through the dark to found great cities where all life is possible to maintain as long as time, which wants us to remain for cocktails in a bar, and after dinner lets us live with it. No more dying. <laughs>